Hi everyone. So this is the part two of my book show and tell. Uh, these are all library books. They are due in almost two weeks, a little less than two weeks, so I have to really read these soon. <laughs> okay, this first one is, the lighting is not good in here, I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll mess with the lighting on the video. Uh, Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. Um, I, I believe the last time I read this was in high school, and I wanted to just read it by myself without any, like, scholastic pressure to do a, like, book report or anything like that. Um, it's, it's a feminist science fiction. Um, the author herself insists that this is not a science fiction book, but it is generally considered a near-future science fiction book, uh, something that could foreseeably happen in the very near future, that sort of thing. The Handmaid's Tale. Alright, there's that. Um, not all of these are science fiction, some of these are fantasy. Um, this one, I'm not sure if it's fantasy or science fiction or science fantasy. Dream Hunter. Um, it's set in sort of an alternate, alternate world where um, dreams can be shared, communicated, um, and there are people who have like the special gift of being able to com to share dreams with other people or to communicate dreams with other people. Dream Hunter by Elizabeth Knox, and this is the kind of cover that I really like on my books. It's just one central figure, and this eye. Her eye is like green blue. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting. Ooh, it's really nice. Okay, now there's that. It's kind of thick, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. I might have to check it out again. Um, I also check out books uh, in ebook form, but I can't show you those. Um, I've recently read Gifts and Powers. Those are two separate books. Gifts, one. Powers, too, um, by Ursula K. Le Guin, who, as I said before, is one of my like all-time favorite authors. Um, this is er, this is an Earthsea book, um, Te Teanu, um, I think, by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, I am waiting for the the late lathe or live of heaven uh, by Ursula K. Le Guin to come in the mail. And I will show you as soon as I get that one. Um, I also have The Beginning Place. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. The Beginning Place by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, and I'm not sure if it's kind of like a retelling of Adam and Eve. That's kind of what it looks like. It's got a very 70s type cover. But um, this was actually published in the in 1980, I think. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to reading it. Uh, there's that. And I showed you that one. And um, here's another Margaret Atwood Oryx and Crake. And it is the first book in a series, but I, I can't remember the series name right now. Um, Mad Adam. Mad Adam, I think, is the next next one. She she does, I think, very good literary style fiction. Um, I think these are science fiction. I'm not sure. I actually have not started this, so I'll let you know what I think about it. Um, I really have to start cracking these books open. This is just a, a fairy tale type folklore um, anthology, the fairy reel tales from... The Twilight Realm, and I love fairy tales and folk tales, and um, any kind of a version of uh, like retellings, retellings of Cinderella or Beauty and the Beast or Sleeping Beauty. I love those kinds of books. So this is an anthology. So they're a bunch of like short short stories. Reading those. Um, this is Orson Scott Card, who is most known for his Ender series. Um, 
Ender's Game, uh, Ender and Exile, um, Speaker for the Dead. I have um, Ender's Game and Speaker for the Dead, but I can't find them right now or I would show you. Uh, I own them, but this is a library book, um, Stone Tables. This is actually a historical fiction book, and he is, this author, Orson Scott Card, is most known for his science fiction, but he also has done some really interesting historical type fiction, uh, mostly of biblical characters. Um, this one is about Moses. He has one, I believe, about Sarah, the, the wife of Abraham, and Rebecca. Um, I'm not sure, I'm sure there are others, but those are the ones that come to mind. So there's that. I, I like him pretty much as an author, though some of the the themes that he has worked with I I didn't much enjoy. Um, but as far as his writing is concerned, I, I like his writing. This is City of the Beasts by Isabel Allende. Um, she, she has done some really great literary fiction, which I need to get my hands on and start reading. But I wanted to start with some of her young adult uh, fiction, because I think they would just be like easier to read. <laughs> um, and I'm a little bit intimidated by the, the literary, literary fiction genre. Um, I, love, I love lyrical and poetic and um, really thoughtful prose. But some, for some reason, literary fiction kind of spooks me out, kind of scares me a little bit. But young adult fiction does not do that. So I will start with one of her young adult fiction and see if I really like it. Then I will continue with, with her others. I think that was it. Was that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yeah, that was all of them. Um, and I'm also going to show you just in the last few moments some of my writing books. These are like writing manuals, writing prompt books, that sort of thing. Uh, this is the complete handbook of novel writing, and I will probably be covering some stuff in here. Um, there are articles by Orson Scott Card and Margaret Atwood, which I've showed you some of her books. Um, there's something in here by Stephen King. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, there's that. And this one is really big. I think it's going to take me a while to get through. The Making of a Story. Um, a Norton Guide to Creative Writing. And I'll, I'll let you know if there's anything in here that I found really interesting or that I learned. Um, any interesting exercises or points that are made. I'll let you know. Alright, there's that. And one more, and then we'll be done. I own these. Um, crafting novels and short stories. This is going to be very helpful for me with my short story collection, I can just tell. Um, it's from the editors of Readers the Writer's Digest, so it should be should be good. Um, and I will show you like a whole video for the rest of my writing material. I have a lot of writer's books, um, and more will be coming in very shortly. So when they come in, I'm going to get them all together and, and show you some of my old ones and then the brand new ones that come in. So that's it. Um, I I made I may show you a video on my ebooks. Um, I have uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, iRobot series. I have Philip K. Dick's. Uh, do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? I have a lot of lot of science fiction also on my ebook um, e-readers, um, and I also borrow books from the library in ebook form. That's really awesome. If you can check out um, Overdrive.com and Freeding Freeding Freereading.com, um, I will post links in the bottom and check with your library and see if your library uh, participates. But some libraries will let you check out ebooks through overdrive.com and freeding.com. Um, it's a really nice way to get uh, to loan books without actually having to carry them out of the library. All you need is your library card. It's really awesome. So that's the end of this video. <laughs> um, 
I will be covering all kinds of stuff in the future, so I'll let you go now. So say good night. It's really late over here, so good night. Goodbye. Uh, bye.